Hello, and welcome to Paul's Lost Remains, which is a interesting title. Oh, <laughs> well, there goes Paul. What did I just hear? Is that Paul screaming? I have to check up on him. Oh, well, I've checked up on him. I look like a face in the distance. Ah, uh, I think it's time to go home. Where is Paul gone? And what is all this blood? Suspiciously in his tent. I have to find him. Cheer me out, he's dead. He, you don't just explode this much blood and you're fine. No, he's gone. I bob up and down. Can I just go straight through that? I can definitely see something in the distance. Yeah. Is that just it looping me around the long way? It totally is. It's literally just going around. I want to check the cross of candles that is also exploding blood. Cross. I need to find more of Paul. What do you mean by that? Oh. What do you mean by that? What do you mean I need to find more of Paul? Oh, hi. You picked up Paul's left arm. Can I go grab this too? Is this a head? It's a head. Oh, Paul. No. You picked up Paul's head. Thank you. Did I miss pieces because I was walking around? Or I walk straight to it. That's probably what happened. I can't run. I keep pressing shift in hopes that I can magically run. I do that in every game you can't run. I hope at some point I will unlock the power of just moving faster. No. Yep, I missed pieces. Oh, this is torso. You picked up Paul's chest. I must that freeze me. So I had a left leg, chest, head, I just need both arms and the right leg. Which one is this? It's kind of hard to tell. I picked up Paul's right arm. Where we started. I saw some other candles out this way. The screams of the damned every time I pick up a body part are not welcoming. There's just large invisible walls on the trees, so there's not. Just that one specific tree. Probably because it doesn't want me going in there. I have the left leg, right? And I think the right arm. I just need the opposites, which I think are there and here. You pick that look like a leg. Right leg. Excellent. This also actually looks like a leg. Yeah. Picked up Paul's left. Oh, I thought I picked up a leg first. Apparently, I got both arms. Never mind. So, who exploded him into even pieces and then strewn them about? Do I need to bring these to the cross? Am I resurrecting Paul? Ah, you placed Paul's chest on the cross. How do I know to do this? You place Paul's right arm on the cross. You, I know I get it by now. Oh, just leave his legs. Yeah. How is he even on the cross? He's just floating. He keeps resetting me every time. Oh, the lower part of your body is very bloody. Like, up top, you got a few splatters here and there. Bottom, it's just a hue of red blood. Paul? Paul, you are complete now. Paul? Um, ah! What the heck? What? Oh, is there more? Oh, what happened to you? I have to run. Maybe I can reach my car. Oh, Paul, you've gotten off. Where's my... I'm gonna follow the candles. Paul, you're kind of slow. You just got that 
march going on. This... Oh, you're not very hard to get away from. You know, maybe resurrecting the dead was a bad idea. Did you ever think of that? Oh, you're actually getting closer. Never mind, you got stuck on the same tree I did. Uh, there was supposed to be a car here. Hi, Paul. Where? I I followed the light. This flew me to a car. I think that's the car, Paul. You're still very far away. <laughs> Not very good at the... Excuse me. Not very good at this chasing thing, Paul. I'm not very good at running either. We're both just kind of walking. Neither of us are taking this seriously. Why do you have to scream at me, man? Like, don't you remember me? I'm... I don't know why. I've never had a name. Just... Yep. Hey, Paul. You wanna... You wanna get in have a car ride with me? I really hope you don't phase through this when I try to mess with you. Hey, Paul. Hey, Paul. Hey. Okay, good. You don't. Oh, you're still screaming. <laughs> you still have the scream voice. Hey there, bud. All right. I made it. The end. Thanks for playing. Danning's game. So that one. Turn down a little bit here. That was a very, very, very quick game. That, I don't know. It it was ran a little bit more on the basic side. It was just go around, collect his parts. The scream part was kind of interesting. Of course, I didn't have much of a scare factor from it, but I, I didn't look too much into it. Let's see. Let's take a quick look at what was said about it. I do have a bit of time. Uh, not much, actually. Usually they'd have this thing like, this was made for a game jam, this is my like first game or second game. It's not, it's just a background to it. Oh wait, it's still everybody's, it's very far, it's very far, it's kind of rowdy, you have to collect them and put them on a cross and send us for us. What will happen when you complete the cross? My only short horror game will test your nerves and challenge your sanity. Ah, uh, I think my nerves are fine. And my sanity, eh, sanity's always been iffy, but... I didn't do much of it. Oh, they actually have a few games. Oh my god! They have a lot of games. A lot of just short games that... It's kind of fun. I think this is their first horror game, though. Most of them are... Like, little towny, cartoony games, just for a quick little bit of fun. Some Flappy Bird games. Grapple Whip, I don't know what that means, but... I've got a few going for them. Pretty good. If you like this game, many more on my YouTube stream three times a week, Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday, all at 10.30 Pacific Daily Time. Catch you later. Bye-bye.